What's up guys, it is Chandler from Team No League bringing you a Picarom deck profile. Uh, we've seen a million before, but I think Xander Pearl's fourth place list, which is kind of what this is built off of, uh, was very interesting to me. Uh, usually you only see, you know, one count of electromagnetic magnetic radar, um, but we see two counts in his list and the four energy switch I like a lot. Um, so just a very interesting list that I like to look at um, and kind of test it out as well. So going into it, we see the Absol as well. Uh, something we haven't really seen a whole lot in peak ROMs lately. Uh, it's going to hard counter the Jirachis, the Zapdos, uh, any basic you know uh, attacker that retreats often. Uh, so mostly Zapdos, mostly the Jirachi. Uh, it's going to stick Jirachis most of the time because a lot of times they can't wish because they need the energy and the escape board and they can't retreat. Um, no, that's not true. That's not true. They can wish with the energy attached to the escape board. My fault. Uh, but they do need to attach the energy, which can sometimes be a problem if they need to attach to Zapdos or if they need to uh, stockpile energy on the board for their Tapu Koko GX plays. Um, so Absol is just kind of a nuisance to uh, mostly Drachi and Zapdos and some other basic attacker decks that retreat often. Uh, you have the 2 to Dene GX. This is something that's always been in the deck. Uh, one of, maybe two of. It's just going to help you go fast, really, really fast. Um, and you, it's, it's attacks aren't completely worthless. Uh, you do have the Tingly Return, which is probably its best option of attack. Uh, you know, piled with maybe a couple Electro Powers or a Choice Band. It is, it can be used in some situations. I saw it this weekend in a cup used against Zapdos. Uh, it was really insane the way it was played out, and uh, ended up winning him, winning him the game because of uh, the Dene GX's GX attack. So, you know, just, just a niche situation really. We got Picarom, obviously this is a staple in Picarom lists. Uh, you know, you got the Full Blitz, which is an insane attack. Uh, stockpiled again with Choice Bands and Electro Powers. Uh, you can hit those high numbers. Uh, you can get a Full Blitz knockout on anything above 210, or on uh, 210 and under, sorry. Uh, and then you attach three energy from deck and you just go fast from there. It's GX attack, which we've seen be uh, amazing before. The 200, plus if you have three more energy. Uh, you do 170 to the bench, absolutely insane. Typically wins you the game if you get a good tag bolt, tag bolt out and um, just a, a, another good tag team GX card. Tapu Koko Prism Star, this is the combo master. Uh, you have two Pokemon on the bench, you take two basic, dis two, two basic energy sorry, from the discard and put them onto two different Pokemon on your bench and then you, with uh, comboed with the four energy switch that you have in your deck, there's no way you shouldn't be able to get a full blitz turn two or three, uh, or even your Tapu Koko GX plays where you can do mid game slash late game attacks with the Tapu Koko, Tapu Koko GX and pretty much be a game changer. Um, you know, you can hold it in your hand, the Tapu Koko Prism Star and the Tapu Koko GX simultaneously, play them both at the same time, and your opponent just goes, crap, I'm pretty much done for. Usually, usually if you play the Tapu Koko GX at the right time, it's, it's most of the time a game changer. Uh, Zapdos, again, a staple in a peak ROM list. It's going to be your early game attacker. Typically, if you're not going super fast, if you need to just kind of go a little, a little more casual, a little slower, you can go that Zapdos route. And even against uh, early game Zoroark decks, you can take that early knockout on a Zora, a Ditto, per, uh, not Persian, sorry, uh, Meowth, uh, Grimer especially. You probably want to get rid of the Grimer very fast against Zoroark. Um, so just going to hit those lower numbers quickly. Uh, early game. You got the Zero Aura GX. Xander's opted to play two Zero Aura GX. I don't know if I'll want to go that route as well. Typically, I've always played one. I think one should be fine. Um, if I had to read the details on his list, like what he says about it, uh, he'd, I, I'd be interested to see what he says about it. Maybe it's for his attack. Maybe it's just a guarantee you always have that retreat. Um, but I think one of is fine for now. You got the two let loose, which is uh, going to disrupt your opponent's hand, especially with how much uh, you play the four Lily, you play the two electromagnetic ra like magnetic radar, sorry, uh, the one tap of Lele GX and the two Dedene. So after a let loose, if you let your let loose yourself into a dead hand, you should pretty easily probably draw into something that's going to help you get out of that dead hand. So uh, let loose, draw into a radar, fine, you can get the Dedene. Uh, let loose, draw into a Lily or Volkner. Fine, you can still get the Dedene or the Tapu Lele, so you should not always get a dead let loose hand uh, or absolutely dead. 
Um, Tapu Lele GX, again, staple in almost every deck now that's uh, not a single prize attacker deck. It's going to help you search out your Guzmas, Lilies, and Volkners, which I did opt for for Guzma. Uh, I think it's just good played simultaneously with Zapdos, and, um, you know, it's just... It's also good for Tag Bolt situations. Maybe if you don't want to uh, Tag Bolt, like a Tapu Lele in the active, you can Guzma out something bigger, so you can get the, the full value of Tag Bolt GX. It's just, uh, you know... We've seen Guzma just be insanely good against everything. Guzma game is the is the uh, popular phrase that's probably been in the Sun and Moon series. Uh, four Electro Power. No, sorry, two Electromagnetic Magnetic Radar. I'm going to struggle saying that word. Uh, that's going to help you search out that guy, that guy, and that guy, and that guy. So, I mean, it's just kind of insane. It, it searches out. Uh, what sit four five six six of your 13 Pokemon um, so I mean you can, you can get a Dedenne and a peak rom for a turbo combo uh, just insane it's gonna also help you discard your lightning energies which you kind of want in order to set up a Tapu Koko prism star combo for anything that you're gonna combo it with so I think I think one to two is probably fine you don't really want to go over that uh, just because you also don't want to be in some situations you don't want to search out a lot of GX's against like single prize attacker decks and typically wheezing as well uh, for electro powers staple in every lightning deck it does plus 30 you guys know the deal uh, for energy switch um, this is awesome I like this a lot because typically the list that I played only played about two or three sometimes three typically two um, so I like the four if you just go fast you're going to guarantee the uh, Tapu Koko Prism Star combo, like I keep saying, onto your Picarom. Uh, and even your, if you need it on Zapdos as well, or, or Zero Aura, it's, again, you, you, you can energy switch to anything. So whatever you need it for, it's going to be good. Or even if you have an Absol in the active, you need to attach an energy, retreat, and then energy switch onto something. It's, you know, all of these cards are good, have good synergy with each other. The escape rope, like I said, if you have an Absol in the active and you don't want to keep it there, obviously, and you don't want to attach to the Absol, um, then the escape rope is going to be good to get that Absol out of place. And maybe the Tapu Lele and the Marshadow, those are probably the only three cards, and maybe Prism Star, uh, Tapu Koko Prism Star, you don't want in the active either. So those are going to be four cards that you really want to get out of the active and you don't really want to attach energy to most of the time. Two Field Blower. Uh, in this meta now, it is pretty much a staple, uh, at least as a one of. Uh, two of is going to get rid of your escape boards, your choice bands, uh, stadiums, um, uh, spell tags, sorry. I mean, there's just so many things that you want to discard now uh, that have became a problem. Stealthy hoods, uh, like I said, just a lot of stuff that you want to get rid of now um, with the field blowers. Two nest ball as opposed to the four nest ball played previously, at least in the list that I have seen. Uh, I like that a lot because now you're playing the radars, so you don't really need the nest balls. Uh, the nest balls you really only need for the Absol, Prism, uh, Tapu Koko, Prism Star, and the Zapdos, and that's only that's three cards that you need to search out with uh, nest ball. And so I just don't think you need to play a high count of it. And apparently Xander didn't either. So this is Xander's list. I'm I'm not going to take any credit for it, but I had to have to agree with his nest ball situation with his nest ball. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Decision, nest ball decision, my fault. The one of uh, Rescue Stretcher, some lists we've seen play no res Rescue Stretcher. I like the one of Rescue Stretcher in case you prize a Picarom and one of your Picarom gets knocked out and you want to set up another Picarom. Uh, really just any situation that you need to set up, you know, continuous knockouts with, especially with Zapdos. If you want to play the more Zapdos route, you only have two of them in there. Um, so you want to, in some situations, just keep cycling Zapdos. Uh, the four of Ultra Ball. It's going to be a similar situation to the Electromagnetic Radar, where you can discard two Lightning Energy or discard something you don't need and search out, you know, any of these Pokemon. You guys know Ultra, uh, Ultra Ball, Thunder Mountain. It's going to make your uh, Lightning Pokemon, Lightning Pokemon, sorry, uh, attack costs one less Lightning. Um, so Full Blitz for two, uh, Plasma Fist for two, Thunderous Assault for zero. You guys, you know the situation there. I did opt for the one Viridian Forest just to help you discard the Lightning Energies or even search out the Lightning Energies or get rid of uh, discardable cards. Um, so just the one of that I decided. The four Guzma I also decided. Again, this is going to be the Guzma game situation, I think. That's why I opted for four. Um, so just, a, I think, a better situational card. For Lily, it's going to help with your consistency on top of the Dedenne. You can Dedenne and then go into Lily and you're drawing, I mean, you're just going real fast turbo. Um, you're just going to draw into pretty much anything you need 
the two Volkner. Um, I think that's going to help search out probably your escape rope since you're playing a one of, uh, as well as maybe a rescue stretcher. Uh, the stealthy hood for sure. It's going to help you search out that stealthy hood. Just these lower count item cards. Um, or even in some situations where you need to go find like two electro powers. You have one in hand, but you need two. Volkner with the electro power. Hit hard. Two choice band. That's going to help against the mirror. Uh, you're only hitting 230 at that point, but then one electro power is going to get the knockout on the on the uh, Picarom, um, as well as a full blitz. Uh, it's going to do 180, which is hitting a lot of Pokemon now, um, except for the tag teams. Uh, the 180 isn't going to do a whole lot. It only puts pressure on tag teams, and that's uh, I just don't think it's sufficient enough. So you need to you need to compile it with electro powers against your tag team opponents. The one of Stealthy Hood. I think this is really good because Vileplume is becoming popular again in the Lucario, Mel Lucario Melmetal stall decks. Um, so you just slap that Stealthy Hood on there and you can start swinging on Vileplumes and um, that's pretty much your answer to Vileplume. As well as Weezing. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of Weezing anymore, but if you don't want to take that tick damage every turn, you just, just slap it onto something that you don't want to take that ability damage every turn and um, just kind of go from there. If it gets discarded, it hurts a little bit. You're, you're, it's not per doing any value for you, sorry, um, but it's mostly just going to help, I think, against Vileplume. Uh, the 12 energy, uh, staple, you know, you need probably about 11 at least to 13 at most. Uh, so 12 is a safe number for sure. Um, so we're just going to hop into some games here. I'm thinking about Turbo Rom again, um, just because uh, it's different than everything else that's being played. You know, you see a lot of Reshizard. I don't personally want to spend the money on Reshizard right now. Uh, it is probably the BDIF, but uh, I've also never been kind of a beat stick player, which Turbo Rom is kind of a beat stick deck. Uh, I don't really want to play Bicephalon because that's just what won the Madison Regionals, uh, just because again, it's a beat stick deck. Um, I'm having a hard time deciding what I really want to play. Um, I've been playing a lot of Zoroark. Just because I think it takes a little more skill to run, but it might be time to switch to something like uh, Picarom, Reshizard, Blacephalon, any of the hard-hitting decks. So. This looks like Salazzle's hand. No, this looks like um, Charizard. So I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're gonna let loose him. We're just gonna play that just to be, you know, extra safe. Um, we're gonna hope for the Zero Aura and the Prism Star. I think we don't absolutely need the Stealthy Hood this game. We got the Lily, which is pretty busted. Probably just gonna go for the Zero Aura. Attached to the active. We're going to keep that electro power. Cool. So we got pretty much, I mean, a really, really great first hand. Uh, and then we're also going to get the Picarom. To the Zapdos and the Picarom. We can retreat. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Next turn, we might um, Ultra Ball for another Dedenne. I really, I don't think his hand's amazing. I think we pretty much just have, we should have pretty close, pretty well close to game next turn. Gonna 
Chamber of Candy. Gunner Roaring Resolve for sure. Yeah. I think we'll promote the Tapu Koko GX and attach to the Pika ROM. Oh, his hand's super dead. Yeah, so we're just going to attach to the Pika ROM um, and hope for a energy switch. Oh no, we don't need to hope for the energy switch, we just have it. With the Volkner. So, energy switch, whoops. And energy. We'll go ahead and retreat. Energy switch. We don't really need to get rid of anything um, in our hand, so we're just gonna kinda hold on to everything. Full blitz him. I I don't think he really has an answer. And once he sees this peak around built up, I think that's just kind of it for him. His hand's so dead, he doesn't have an option to anything. I don't think. So we got the ultra ball. We have the Guzma in hand. We have options to other things to attack. Uh, mostly just the Zapdos actually. Uh, we can hope for a couple of energy switch. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to attack both that Tapu Lele. And I'll probably honestly Guzma up a, uh, if he benches a Charmander, I'll Guzma up the Charmander and then just uh, do the bench damage to the Tapu Lele here. So again, I don't, I don't think he's in a very winnable situation. Got the Charmander. Oh, Salazzle. Oh, we just win right here. I think. Unless he Queen's Haze GX. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So that's bad but I think we're just gonna go with uh, full voltage GX we'll bring that guy out because I don't think he has an answer in his hand and yeah this seems fine so we're not gonna be able to use um, tag bolt anymore we're still, we're still going to tap to 3 to him and 2 to him. And I think that just gives us a, a comfortable setup. I think what we'll probably end up doing is searching out the Lele. For how many prizes he's taken, right? Yeah. For how many prize cards you have taken. Okay. So... Actually, we're just going to Plasma Fist for Knockout. Yeah, that's it. Plasma Fist for Knockout. Probably should have retreated in Full Blitz for Knockout, but wasn't thinking about it. That's my fault. Um, we're just kind of thin. He only has basics out, so we're going to make that Tapu Lele hard to retreat, as well as the Charmander in case he wants to attack, in attack into anything. We'll attach for turn onto that guy. We have the energy switch, so I think we're probably in an okay situation again. The Queen's Haze hurt. I forgot. I really wasn't thinking he was running the, Z the GX, but oh well. I, again, I'm not really concerned about it. I'll probably just Guzma up the Tapu Lele next turn for game. Guzma game. Yeah. I, I just... His hand was dead early. I got a really good start. I, yeah, he just struggled pretty much. And the deck goes fast. Turbo Realm goes turbo. Turbo fast. So it looks like it was Fire, Dark, Psychic, and Normal. Could be Incineroar GX. Uh, it could be Reshizard. I don't know what Dark type. Reshizard runs in it. 
don't think anything. I could be wrong. Uh, what else could it be? So it is attacking an attacking deck. I just steal. Hmm. We're probably gonna want to get the. Um, is there or out there? The Absol out there. It's probably Rest Guard. I think it's Rest Guard. Yeah, because the four Alpha bikes, it has to be, and the and the Mill Tank, it, it again it has to be. Yep, and then the Snorlax. So this is definitely Rest Guard. Um, Trying to think of my game plan here with the hand that I have. Probably Ultra Ball away, a Lily and a Volpner. Attached to the active Coco. <sighs> Ultra Ball for Zero Aura. I don't know. We'll just have to exercise my top deck. Top deck's kind of kind of kind of going to decide what I do. So we got the escape board. So we're still gonna kind of make it hard for him by putting the Absol down. We want to try and get that Absol down this turn because his deck is made up of basics, and he just discarded a Guzma. So, which I think he only went. He had two discarded Guzmas. Wow. Late game, we could go for a Guzma stall on something. I think that's absolutely insane that he just discarded. Two of them that fast. And the Kiawe. So the Kiawe is super good. Okay, so we got the Absol. We are going to Ultra Ball the Lily and the Volpner. For the Zera Aura. It actually might not be the best play because he has the power plan out. So maybe. Maybe just the Zapdos. And attach the active. Okay, so we got the blow, which is good. Um, let's search out. Let's go to Dene. The Dene, sorry. We just want to go fast. Really, really fast. Um, let's do that just because we can. Maybe we'll try to opt for the more single prize route. didn't get any energy. I have an idea. That wasn't the most optimal hand we wanted to do. I probably misplayed a little bit as well. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of testing with Turbo Rom against Reshizard. I think we're just going to try and go for the Coco GX play. If he knocks this Prism Star out, I think I kind of lose. That's that is like probably most definitely his last Guzma. Okay, that's 
fine. All of that's fine. So we're hitting for 250. Marshadow. Again, like I don't think the let loose really hurts us because we have a lot of stuff to search out. Busted. So we'll probably attach and lowly. Insane. Absolutely insane. So he's only up four. We need electro power or choice fan. Yikes. Um, oh, man. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Porter get have not supported yet. I may be playing this wrong. I didn't do anything. Well, this is a yikes, guys. I, this is rough. I'm, I'm at a loss. The 170 is good, but he's not going to Guzma up anything, which is nice. He's going to have to GX this turn. He can't Ace roll up because then he can't attack, period. So maybe we're okay. If he retreats it, we can Guzma it back up. I think he's gonna retreat it. Eighty won't knock it out, which is a problem. Hmm. Forgot I had Thunder Mountain out there, so I didn't really need to attach to the active. Which is silly. I think I'm just like hard misplaying. Curious to see what he's gonna do. I don't know really what his answer is. He's out of Guzmas for sure. I mean, he'd be crazy if he played four. He has eight energy out now. One in this card, so nine. Probably playing ten to twelve. Knock out on Absol's fine. I'm gonna Guzma up that. So he only needs three more prizes. We don't need energy on that anymore. So pretty much we just need to figure out a way to get. Coco GX possibly out there. Which I don't think will happen anytime soon. Okay, so we got this Coco GX. We have the choice band. 
Really, a draw support would be great here. He attached another, so that's 200. You hit 230. You hit 230. You need to hit two electro powers. Oh, we pretty well lose. This is going to have to force him to ace or roll up. Or retrieve it. puts a lot of pressure so regardless we have oh no he has a switch energy dang it switch energy I wasn't thinking about how big his hand was and we didn't draw into really Anything we did get rid of four lilies early, which was probably a uh, misplay again on my end. Outrage! Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I forget about that outrage, man. That outrage is insanely, insanely good. I just misplayed pretty hard that game. I think I drew myself out of uh, support. Um, it's kind of a rough game on my end. I'm. Again, I haven't had a whole lot of testing with this deck, so it's just, it's meh. The deck isn't meh. Me playing with it is meh. <laughs> Excuse me. I have not won a coin flip either in these last three games, which is kind of weird. I think we're just going to bench the Coco Prism Star and the Dene. We don't really absolutely need those two, and we should get something of draw support off of it. Another. I wish I could play something that can actually challenge my thought process, my thought process with this deck. Whoa. Uh Yikes. So I didn't attach that because I that was a bad attachment. I should be able to get a knockout. Yeah, there it is. Yikes. I think I'm just making like small misplays with this deck. Um, I'll give it one more. Might go over it. Let's win a coin flip this time. There we go. We won a coin flip. I think it doesn't really matter. I think you can pop off so much on your turn that it doesn't really matter. This hand is kind of a yikes. His hand is kind of a yikes. Let's just uh, let's just go right out with it. Can I 
to give him a helping hand too. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go fast. It does not even matter anymore. We're just gonna go fast. Just gonna go fast. Ah, uh, we prized the prism star. That's kind of nuts. So I don't think he'll probably get rid of that Thunder Mountain. I'll just attach turn two. Full Blitz, knockout. Okay. The only thing that's gonna be rough is he can if he can get um, the full bits off before me. Do I see it happening? Maybe. If he's caught, if he has the same list as uh, as mine, yeah. So he might have a, sh a shot at doing it, especially if he didn't prize his prism star like I did. He probably has a good shot at it. Search out another Dedene. Got rid of a Guzma, which I think is pretty bad. Like I said, we'll probably search out for another Dedene unless it's prized. Okay, we got it. I think two peak Rom is probably isn't his best decision. It's looking like he's digging just as much as I did, though. He is probably going to attack. War the 50? 80? Not, uh, 110? 140? That's a lot of damage from a little Dedene. So let's just... Fine. We're gonna full blitz onto um, a different peak rom. And then if we need to, we can just energy switch from somewhere. Hopefully we get the uh, prism star on this one. Five and we have Prism Star, Prism Star, no. We have four in there, so nine total that have been shown. We do have the um, Electro Power, which is nice. I don't see how he can full blitz. Just kidding, I can completely see how they can full blitz. He just attaches energy, prism star, energy switch, full blitz. Get another peak around. Oh man, this man is insane. Oh, his prism star is prized. Oh, what a sad man. Okay, so. about this don't like that so we're gonna get rid of that we can sacrifice it right because we should pretty well win next turn Good. With yeah, we 
there's no way we lose unless he plays let loose. There's like absolutely no way we lose. Yeah, we just glitched my Pizarro or Attack Ball onto uh, the Demi. Stars. Probably gonna get his Coco if he has it. He might not. And his Thunder Mountain. Yep. Thunder Mountain's not gonna help him a whole lot. Probably just thinning out as well as he can. <sighs> I just don't. I don't think he. he Obviously doesn't know I have Guzman in hand, but either way, I mean, he just started too late. And we top deck Guzma, so. We just want to make 100% sure that we do knock it out. And GG's. So we got our Tag Bolt GX off kind of late. Um, I think that's due primarily to the fact that we, you know, prized Tapu Koko, G uh, Tapu, Tapu Koko Prism Star, sorry. Um, luckily, our opponent didn't have great starts, didn't have uh, the most superb gameplay um but i think we 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 made the right decisions to pretty much gain the lead in that in that game uh we saw the rushes our matchup which as we already know is our, our hardest matchup probably it just hits harder and a little bit quicker uh the speed of both decks are pretty similar but i think rushes are probably gets it off faster um so probably just practicing your rushes are matchup as much as you can um something i might take out is a stealthy hood just because i don't know if i'm 100 percent scared of uh vile plume or not but uh, i think that's probably going to finish it up for uh this video this is xander perot's uh fourth place list so i will not take any credit to making the list um i like it a lot i'll probably be testing it quite a bit more um go ahead and give our facebook page a like and our youtube page a subscribe uh thanks for watching